Hello, I'm Michelle Tapper with the latest from science. The mental health effects of the COVID-19 pandemic will be felt for many years, and experts say stress, anxiety and depression are on the rise. People are dealing with job losses, isolation, and the fear of themselves or their loved ones catching the virus. There's never been a greater need for mental health services. Joining us today is Associate Professor and Psychologist, Dr. Jill Newby from UNSW in Sydney. Hi, Jill, thanks for your time today. Thanks for having me. Now, you've been studying the mental health impacts on people in Australia since the pandemic began. What has your research shown? So, so far we've surveyed over 6,000 people in the community in Australia, especially at the peak of the pandemic. And what we're doing is we're following them over time to look at how the, the pandemic impacts their mental health. But so far we've found that three in four people say their mental health has been worse since the, the pandemic has started. And we're also seeing higher rates of stress, anxiety, depressive symptoms, and also higher rates of alcohol use than we would normally expect. What sort of problems are people dealing with and how severe are the mental health issues? There are a range of different problems that people are experiencing. Some people are experiencing a lot of loneliness because they're socially isolated. Other people are really worried about their finances, so that's putting a lot of pressure on themselves and their families. Other people are feeling stressed and generally anxious. I mean, some people are really worried about um, contracting the illness or spreading it to other people. So there are a, a range of different problems that people are experiencing. Um, and they can differ in severity. So particularly for people with pre-existing mental health conditions, we're seeing more severe um, symptoms that they're experiencing. So more severe depression, more severe anxiety and stress levels. Obviously, people have a lot of uh, things that they're worrying about right now, but I think one of the biggest issues is just this ongoing uncertainty about basically everything. Do you have any advice on how to handle that? Yeah, uncertainty is a really tricky one and um, we're notoriously bad at sort of tolerating um, the unknowns and for a lot of people that uncertainty is causing a lot of stress and it has through this whole pandemic. So I think the first thing is really reminding yourself that it's normal and that it's okay to feel like that. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you to feel really uncertain or more stressed or anxious than normal. The second strategy or suggestion that I would have is, is to remember that there are probably other times that you've had to um, cope with anxiety or cope with uncertain times. So use those coping strategies now. And then the third thing that I would suggest is making sure you're, you're talking to other people. Share those worries and that, those concerns and those uncertainties with other people. Because when you talk to other people um, and get support you need, it can actually ease the anxiety and the worry for you. So what if you're feeling high levels of stress or anxiety during the day? Are there any quick tips to get you through, like breathing or being in the moment? Have you got any advice? Yeah, and the most important thing is that it's sort of the little things that we do each day that can make a big difference to our levels of stress or anxiety. So I think it's really important for you to learn um, what makes your anxiety worse and what makes it better, and then put more things into your day that make it better. So there are things that we know that universally help with mental health and ease that anxiety and stress. So if you make sure that you're getting enough sleep and prioritizing the sleep that you're getting, because that can make a huge impact to how emotional you're feeling. The second thing is physical activity. So even small amounts of physical activity and exercise can make a huge difference to stress and anxiety. Seeking social support and social connection can make a huge difference. And making sure you're doing things each day that, that you find um, fun or enjoyable or that you do find relaxing and take your mind off your worries. All of those things can make a huge difference to, to those stress levels and the anxiety levels as well. So try to find a piece of joy in every day, no matter how small it is. Yeah, that's right. And I think the other thing is, um, you know, if, if you know there are things that make the anxiety worse, then try and figure out ways that you can cut them out. So we know that consuming a lot of media, um, being on social media a lot and reading a lot of news stories that are really alarming um, and scary can feed the anxiety. So things like cutting down um, or limiting the amount of media exposure you're getting can make a big difference to the anxiety as well. So what if you're feeling overwhelmed or you know someone else that's overwhelmed? or your kids can't cope, what should you do then? 
There are a few things you can do when you're feeling overwhelmed. I mean, like the uncertainty, um, knowing that it's normal and that it's okay to feel like that and not being too hard on yourself if you are feeling overwhelmed. Um, one thing that we can do is try and ease the expectations and the pressures we're putting on ourselves because that can help um, ease, ease that feeling to some extent. The second thing to do is break those things up and tackle them step by step. So if you're um, struggling with a lot of different things um, that you're coping with at the moment, even writing them down, tackling each problem one at a time and breaking them up into smaller steps can make them feel more manageable. Sharing your problems with other people can help you feel less overwhelmed. Um, and getting the right support. So getting professional support if you're finding um, that those little things aren't working as well as you want. And what types of professional support are available to people uh, to get help if they're feeling that way? Well, we're in a bit of a unique situation in that, um, you know, some of the social distancing uh, restrictions are easing, some of them are sort of staying the same at the moment. So we need different ways of accessing mental health care. So there are three main ways that we can access mental health care. The first way is online programs. So using um, an online program to teach you about anxiety or stress or depression, and it will teach you self-management skills that can help you manage those symptoms. The second way is psychological therapy or counselling. And then the third thing is medications. So there are some medications that help with mental health. What we usually suggest is going to your GP as a first step because your GP will know, um, will be able to help you sort of navigate the different options and tailor the suggestions to you and what you need or what your family member needs if it's your family member who's struggling. But if you're not comfortable going to the GP, um, then you can also go to um, reputable resources like the Black Dog Institute website or Beyond Blue, and they will have a list of um, helpful online programs that you might be able to do yourself. The important thing to um, remember or to know at the moment is that when you go to your GP, they can set you up with what's called a Medicare mental health plan. And then you can get a referral to a psychologist or psychiatrist. And those sessions, when they're done via telehealth, are free. So it's really important to get help at the moment. It will be free and you can access it in your own home in your own time. Jill, that is great advice because obviously there is a long road ahead for all of us and taking care of our mental health and those around us and the people we love, our friends and our family, is a priority at the moment. So thank you so much for your time and for sharing that great advice with us. You're welcome. I'm Michelle Tapper, see you soon.